Rangers hosting the Yankees. The Yankees are minus 184 on the money line. The Rangers are plus 154. The over under eight and a half runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And weather will not be a factor because of the dome. Cole pitched once against the Rangers this year. Five and a third, one run, one earned. They lost 9-4. He struck out 10. Heaney pitched once against the Yankees this year. Four and two-thirds, four runs, three earned. They lost 8-7. That was in New York. He struck out four. Head-to-head, -head, they're five and five against each other. The home team, seven and three. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The over is hitting that last two. The under is 5-4-1. And, and the under 8.5 runs is 7-3. The Yankees are 3-2 and two in Cole's last five starts. The under is hitting his last three. And the under is 4-1 and one in his last five. Five and a third innings pitched. 4.6 hits. 1.2 earned runs. 6.2 strikeouts. Two walks. 0.4 home runs. Both of which came in his last start against the Nationals. 92.4 pitches per game. 16.6 pitches per inning. For the Rangers... For whatever the reason is, they have not confirmed that it's going to be Heaney. So in his last 10 starts, they've won his last two. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.8 strikeouts, 14.9 outs recorded, 4.4 hits, 1.5 walks, 2.3 runs, 2.1 of which were earned, 0.6 home runs, 86.6 pitches per game, and 17.6 pitches per inning. The Yankees just seemingly can't get out of their own way lately. They're 1-4 in their last five. Seven runs, nine runs, 11 runs, and then 21 runs. Two runs and a loss, six runs and a win, five runs and a loss, and then seven runs and a loss today. For the Rangers, they are 5-1 and one in their last six. Three runs, 11 runs, five runs, 10 runs. Granted, their last two series were against the A's and the White Sox, but you play who's on your schedule. Two runs and a win, two runs and a loss, three runs and a win, six runs and a win. I'm going to take the Yankees on the money line. I will take the Rangers getting the runs, and I'm going to lean under if both of these pitchers do what they've been doing lately. This should be a low-scoring game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.